Hello there. Hope you are having a good day. In this video, we will talk about how to create a list in Microsoft Lists. We will also explain various options available to create a list in a way you desire. If you are familiar with SharePoint lists, Microsoft lists is not difficult to understand for you. You can access Microsoft lists in three ways. The first way is through Microsoft lists app listed in Microsoft 365 app launcher. The second way is through SharePoint platform. You can also access Microsoft lists through Microsoft Teams app integration. Let us show you how to create a list from Microsoft list platform here. Let's get started from the SharePoint homepage. Go to the app launcher icon placed in the left corner, click on it and choose lists. You are now in the Microsoft lists homepage. Click on the new list icon placed in the middle of the page. Here you can see different options from which you can create a new list. There are options like blank list, Excel from Excel, from existing list, and there are also templates. If you want to create a list from scratch, blank list is the option you need to choose. From Excel options allow you to create a new list from an existing Excel spreadsheet. You can also create a new list from an existing list using the option from existing list. The templates here are already designed for specific needs. As you can see, there are templates called issue tracker, employee onboarding, event itinerary, asset manager, recruitment tracker, travel request, progress tracker, and also content scheduler. Let's now create a new list from scratch first. So I'm clicking on the blank list here. So you need to provide a name description. You need to choose a color and you can choose an icon here. You can also choose where to save this. So all your SharePoint sites will be listed here. You can choose to save this new list in any of these sites. I'm choosing marketing updates sites to choose to save this new list. You can also decide whether to show this new list in the site navigation or not. If you want to show this in the site navigation, tick this checkbox or just leave it unchecked. After making all the changes, just click on create. The list is now created. So the next step is to add a new item for that. Just click on the plus new icon here in the left corner. You need to enter a title for the new item. So I'm just entering a title, title called creators. If you can, you can also attach any of the documents if you need. So I'm just uploading a random document here. Click on save. So you can see that particular item you just created here. Another option is to add a new column. The easiest way to add a new column is to click on the add column option here. You can choose different types of columns. As you can see, there are around one to three. And around 10 to 12 different column types here. We had already done a blog regarding different types of columns available in SharePoint list and libraries. You can see that uh, in the top. You can go to that and understand better here. So I am just choosing the single line of text here. And I would like to 
give the name of the task here as task information about the task type this for value this calculated value apply this column condition so i am just making this column mandatory can edit all these options uh, as required and click on save so that column will be added over here yeah the new column is added so another easiest way to add, uh, edit your list is to click on the edit in grid view so the advantage with this option is that you can edit uh, the rows and columns a lot more easier. So if you wish to add a new item, just click on the add new item here and give it a name or date. And if you wish to add a column, just click on plus icon here and choose text. And give it a desired name. That's it. So once you are done with the changes, just click on Exit Grid View. All the changes are saved now. So let's now go to the list and let me show you how to create a list from an existing Excel spreadsheet. For that, click on new list, choose from Excel option and click on upload file. If your file is in the saved in your desktop. So I have already prepared an Excel sheet here task list, choose that, it will be added here. So it will automatically take all the column names and prepare all the details automatically. All you need to take care is that all your details or information in the Excel sheet should be in a table if you are just uh, entered details in an excel sheet in each column without any formatting just make sure that uh, the details in the spreadsheet is properly formatted inside a table so it can automatically uh, retrieve the column names and details quickly so click next and just make sure that the uh, name of the list is properly rendered. As usual, just enter a description, choose a color, choose an icon, choose where to save this. Marking updates is where I am saving it. And click on create. Yes, now a new list is created based on uh, one of my Excel spreadsheets in my desktop. So as you can see all the all the columns are automatically created as in the Excel sheet and the details are also uh, added. You can also add columns or remove any of the columns here uh, as required and so that's how you can create a new list uh, based on an existing excel spreadsheet let's now see how to create a new list from an existing microsoft list so click on new list choose the option from existing list. So when you are doing this, what happens is you can choose a new, oh, sorry, uh, you can choose an existing list from where it is. 
So we'll just choose the same list we just created, which is the tasks list and click on next. So uh, you can give a new name to the new list. Uh, I choose the I choose the name task creators. This is a list for the creators or the project leaders. Give a color, choose say an item, choose where you wish to save. task creators list is already existing so I need to give a new name I will choose marketing tasks marketing tasks okay click create let's see what happens so as you can see uh, this list is almost the same as the uh, earlier list we created but the only thing is just the column and the list structure is copied from there and there are no details so you can just start fresh here that's uh, one great benefit I see when I wanted to create uh, new lists which are not entirely different but similar to some of the existing lists the only thing is the details in both the lists will be uh, different so uh, that's one very useful feature. Another important thing I want to show you is how to create a new list from a template. So go to new list option and choose the kind of uh, template you wish. Uh, just think that you want to create a list based on an employee onboarding process. Just choose the employee onboarding template. Uh, just scroll down and see whether uh, the information here is or the type of columns added here is matching with your requirement. You can always switch to a different template from here as all the templates are listed here. And if it's everything is fine and you just want to use this template, click on the use template option. Give the list a new name. So I am just changing the name as marketing employee onboarding. So this will be created specifically for the marketing team. Choose where well, you wish to save. We are always saving all the list to the marketing updates. So everything is regarding marketing. So click on create after making the changes. So as shown, the list is created with all the options. And there's a difference here when we are adding a new item. So if you want to create a new item or add a new item to this list click on the press new icon in the left and as you can see uh, the procedure to add and uh, the options you get to add a new item is entirely different so here you get an option work uh, description completed by due date mentor relevant link etc and these are um, completely regarding the onboarding process. So uh, it's completely justified. So uh, that's how you can use a template in the Microsoft List app. And so th that's how you can create a new list in Microsoft List app. It's very simple and you get a handful of very useful options. So uh, as I said in the beginning, there are two more ways from which you can easily access and manage Microsoft lists. One method is from accessing lists or creating lists from Microsoft SharePoint platform. And another method is from Microsoft Team platform. So let's go to Microsoft SharePoint and let me quickly show you how you create a new list from the SharePoint site. So go to the SharePoint site 
you wish. And here in the plus new icon, when you click, you get options to create a new list, document library, page, news post, news link, plan, app, etc. Just click on list here and you will be taken to the same page or options where you find in the Microsoft List app. So here you can easily create a new list in the SharePoint site you wish. So the options and the procedure are entirely or completely same as we saw earlier. So uh, that's it. This is how you can create lists in Microsoft Lists app. Choose the method you think will work for you the best and make the most of this tool. We will come up with another video to show you how to operate lists from Microsoft Teams platform. That's all for now. Have a good day. Thank you.